requested uh, someone asked me to do uh, mac and cheese mac and cheese uh, and talk about my favourite uh, movie um, scenes so I'm going to try and remember as many of those as I can uh, and speaking of can I have a can of Zed this 
He says, why don't we go down there and cut this shark open? And um, Chief Brody's wife says, can you do that? And he goes, of course I can do it. He says, I can do anything because I'm the chief of police. And that bit always stuck in my mind. And also as well as the other bit when he's like throwing the chum. And then all of a sudden the shark comes up and he sort of backs up into the um, into the cabin with uh, Robert Shaw and he goes you're gonna need a bigger boat <laughs> apparently which he made up it wasn't scripted as far as I know um, yeah so there's that um Jack Lemon and Marilyn Monroe and they were 
was this old guy um because what is there two musicians that uh, witness this killing by the mob so they uh, dress up as women and pretend to be women in this band and there's this old millionaire guy who fancies uh jack lemon and it's so funny and, and Right at the end, again, spoiler alert, they're in his boat and he's going, look, I can't marry you because of this. And he goes, ah, that's all right, I don't care. And she goes, or he goes, he goes, I also do this. And she goes, he goes, um, I don't care, because it's fine. And she goes, oh, and pulls off his wig. He goes, I'm a man. And then he goes, well, nobody's perfect. You know, and he carries on driving, and it just used to make me laugh. It was such, it's such a great film. It's old and black and white, but it's really funny. So yeah, it's another one. Um, another movie I used to watch as a kid, and there's a picture of me somewhere because I had the soundtrack of it when I was about three. Um, it was called The Great Escape and uh, loads of uh, had an all star cast in it so many people in it but the main star was Steve McQueen the one and only and he tries to escape by jumping over these uh, barriers like these two uh, sort of cross shaped uh, wooden logs all covered with um, barbed wire and he jumps over the first one and he makes it and then he gets caught up in all the barbed wire on the, I think on the second jump but absolutely another brilliant scene and what's funny is he just um, he ends up driving the um, the guard crazy because he sits in a, what they call a cooler cooler so it's just like this box and um, he's got a baseball and a glove and the poor guard is outside he's like kadunk kadunk he's just like you know throwing the, the baseball uh, yeah warfare well, is a true story as well um, yeah well they dug so, so many tunnels to escape uh, hence the great escape but yeah another great film an old film really really good one of my dad's favorites i used to watch it a lot when i was a kid and a really really massive cast in it another bit one of my favorite parts is roy from blade runner uh blade runner is visually stunning um, a um, replicant um, they're built for work to be used as like slaves and stuff um, they're, they're much stronger than humans but they only have a four year life cycle as a sort of safety thing um, and all he wants to do all they all want to do there's like a, about four or five of them I think they just want to live longer there's this speech that he says played by oh let's see if I can get this right Rutger Hauger I hope I've said that right if I haven't comment in the comments guys tell me and uh, he says I've seen things you wouldn't believe and it's pouring down with rain on oh, his speech is fantastic and you can really sort of feel his desire is just he is his desire to to live to to not die you know which i mean we all have at the end of the day um but brilliant film and that's a really good scene along with lots of other scenes in it too it's a brilliant movie um Another Ridley Scott film, 
So good to see you all guys. If you'd like a part two, I could 